I, I said that was the last one, but I'm reading this. I have to ask you about this. Matt Mayoko, our good friend. Did you do you know where I'm going with this? I think I saw the comment in there. If, if it's what I think it is. <laughs> NBC Sports Bay Area's Matt Mayoko, our good friend, went on the Murph and Mac morning show on KMBR. And he said, to quote, here's the deal. Sam Darnold might be the most, can I say this, the most talented thrower of the football that the 49ers, wait for it, have ever had. Your reaction. Uh, Your reaction shock, to that. Shock and awe because I think that the first thing that comes to mind is obviously the 49ers have arguably the greatest quarterback of all time and another guy that is in the discussion for one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. But I think without speaking for Matt, what I think he was saying is, is arm talent. And I think arm talent versus production and what you've done are two totally different discussions. I, I think Sam Darnold is a much better thrower of the football than he gets credit for. I don't know that I would feel that strongly that I could say something like that at this point in time without having a chance to watch him up close and in person um, yet. But I do think that Sam Darnold is a much better thrower of the football than he gets credit for. There's much more to playing the quarterback position than just throwing the football, but the guy has insane arm talent. And when you start comparing him to the, the, the quarterbacks the 49ers have had in their history, I think that discussion becomes uh, a, a little bit more difficult to have in terms of placing him at the top. But I, I, I do think people are going to be very surprised Larry when they see the way that this guy can spin a football and, it really could be something as simple as he wasn't in an environment that was conducive to getting the best out of him. And no team's done more with less than the 49ers. And maybe it's just a marriage where we're like, Hey, this guy's had talent all along. He finally has a, a setting that can amplify it. But I'll be honest, the, the, the best they've ever had. That's really tough when you have Joe and Steve uh, in your history. I mean, that's wild. Uh, he, and he, and he goes on he, now he talked to Frank Gore who played with Darnold. Um, but this is what Mayoko went on to say. And then the context, I mean, I would go to cambr.com and check it out for yourself, I'm sure. But he says how this whole thing shakes out, nobody knows. But he does things better than Brock Purdy. He does things better than Trey Lance. But also Trey Lance and Brock Purdy do things better than him. And Brock Purdy has already had more success than both of those two guys combined. Anyway, it's just, it's just, it's, it's, a, I mean, it's an obviously a free flowing conversation about the Niner quarterbacks. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, what, you know, you're always trying and we're, we're talking, we like to talk a lot about the draft. What is the draft? You're trying to figure out kind of the essence of the player. You're trying to see through his teammates and what's going on around him and so on and so forth and just find out. And to me, the more I watch Sam Darnold and I've watched a lot of them in SC, a lot of them with Carolina, obviously a lot of the jet stuff. What I see is a guy who has, who throws a good ball, has good stature, moves really well, and um, but also has kind of an elongated release, and he kind of brings it from here back, and then it just seems like that. I think that more than anything would be my theory as to why he has so many interceptions um, thrown is that I think he's giving the receivers about or the corners a little extra run at it. And I think they're breaking on his ball a little bit better than they break on some other guys' balls. Um, that's, that's my, that's my read. I mean, I don't, I, I don't think it's decision-making. It's, it's obviously somewhat decision-making, but it's, but I think it has to do with his, um, his mechanics. I think he's potentially kind of from, from identifying where, where he wants to go to the ball coming off his fingertips I would like to see that timed compared to Brock, Trey, and all these other quarterbacks in the league and see where that was. Because that, just from looking at him from the naked eye, he just seems to – but his, I'll say this, his Carolina highlight reel from last year looked looked like, yeah, I want this guy on my team. I mean, he made plays with his legs. He made a, a, a wide array of different throws. He played with tempo. The ball came out on time with accuracy and zip. So there's a, I can see why people say there's a lot to like, but I, I think the turnovers and the interceptions, and not to mention the fumbles, I think you know those things have to be factored in. I will, maybe he'll turn it around here, but and I'd love to see it. Wouldn't that be something 
if we have spent this entire time talking about Trey Lance, Trey Lance, Brock Purdy, Brock Purdy, (laughs) and Sam Darnold became the next great Niner quarterback, how shocked would you be if that were the case? Honestly, not that shocked just because, like, so this is the thing that's wild in the grand scheme of things, too, is I think people um, might not have remembered or just, you know, the Niners didn't take him, so it wasn't on the forefront of their mind. Sam Darnold was pretty young when he came out. So I think that with a guy like him, like he's just going to turn 26 in June. Like he's still like a, a very young quarterback in the grand scheme of things. And uh, not this past year, but 2022, I spoke with a scout at the Combine who uh, works for a team who had a quarterback that uh, came in as a rookie and then took a just monumental leap forward in their second and third year. And I asked him a little bit, you know, about the 49ers quarterback situation and how he projected that going forward. And he was, his answer was pretty much like, hey, man, nobody does more with less than Kyle Shanahan. If you give him something to work with, he's going to get production. We've seen him do it with far less than anybody else. So if he gets a plus athlete there with plus talent, um, it, it, it's going to be dangerous for other teams. And, you know, talent's a relative, you know, relatively loose word because it all depends how we define it. But I think Sam Darnold has arm talent. And if you put him in a system where he's going to have more defined reads, he's going to have more, uh, more, more of, I don't say like layup throws, but he's going to have it easier than he's had it at any of his previous destinations. And we've seen court, like Nick Mullins is on a graphic with Patrick Mahomes and Andrew Luck because of the scheme, right? No disrespect to Nick Mullins. That's always the thing I point to whenever people question uh, the scheme or Kyle Shanahan it takes quite a bit of legwork from the scheme to get a guy like Nick Mullins on par statistically with two of the better quarterbacks we've seen in the NFL over the last decade. So I'm not ruling it out. I don't think we should expect it. I don't think you should, uh, you should run to the sports book and play Sam Darnold MVP bets, but don't be surprised if the 49ers are decent, if he ends up being the guy they have to start, because I think that he has the talent to be a decent NFL quarterback and we've seen them succeed with guys who aren't as talented as him. Wow. It's an amazing statement by Mayoko. Matt Mayoko, Matt Mayoko, not to throw this out there that much, but this is pretty dramatic. Um, <laughs> I mean, that it's just a very dramatic statement, and I'm not trying to, you know, generate a bunch of controversy or heat on Mayoko at all. Um, but he does things better. Wait, 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 he does things better than that. I got to see this quote again. I got to double check. He said this. Here's the deal. Sam Darnold might be the most. Can I say this? This that's him saying. He even so he paused right there. Here's the deal. Sam Darnold might might be the most. Can I say this? The most talented thrower of the football the 49ers have ever had. Wow. 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 All right. Who I'll throw it to you guys. Nothing. I don't want to see any anti Mayoko stuff. Come on, that's ridiculous. He's a good friend. Who is the most? You know, okay, we know Joe Montana is the best 49er quarterback of all time. We know. We know Steve Young is the second best 49er quarterback of all time. Who's next? Who do you got third? You're going to go Brody? You're going to go old school? Y.A. Tittle? You going Frankie Albert? You going Alex Smith? You going Kaepernick? Kaepernick had a hose. If you're just talking about throwing it, what about Druck? Remember Druck and Miller? Druck's got a howitzer. That was a direct quote from Druck. Druck's got a howitzer. Kaepernick? Kaepernick threw the ball. Now, he didn't throw it with a lot of touch all the time, but dude had an arm. He could get it down the field. Um, Alex Smith, no, that really wasn't his game. But he was an athlete. Um, I'm trying to think. Who else? Steve Bono, no. Steve DeBerg. DeBerg could throw the ball if you want to go old school. Jeff Kemp. Who is the best thrower of the football? Sam Darnold might be the most. Can I say this? Only if you want to be a topic of conversation on the Krug Show. The most talented thrower of the football the 49ers have ever had. I want your response in the chat. Either give me your response to that 
give me your thoughts when you hear Matt say that. Either your thoughts on how he how he got that opinion, or just anything about that opinion, or who is the most talented thrower of the football that the 49ers have ever had, whose name is not Joe Montana. <laughs> 